it's the 21st. 21st of May. And we are off again. Um, I think the last one we did was in Kerrville, was it? No, we erased the one in Kerrville. We were in Tucson. And, uh, so we were stuck there, and uh, now we're headed for, uh, well, we were headed for Kerrville, and we had a problem. My check engine light came on, and um, we had horn, so we stopped there. We were going to spend the night there, but uh, there's like a multi million truckers rally or something and so we just got up in the middle of the night and decided we're gonna do some more time on the on the road got a little uh tired and pulled over to rest area and then we rested there for a couple hours and went the rest of the way the next day so our first day traveling on a sunday um we spent six days in kerrville and my truck was in the shop for five of those but it looks like they uh, they fixed it and uh, gotta give a shout out to those guys. They did a great job. Um, they worked me in and so on and so forth. I don't even remember the name of the shop, but um, something like Frenchian or something like that. Uh, it's the only Dodge dealer in town, so those guys are great. Um, got the truck back, hooked up. Uh, the um, RV park is a nice RV park. Um, they've got uh, a place to fish, so I did a lot of fishing. Uh, met a lot of people this time in a short time, and uh, uh, it was it was it was pretty nice. So we'll probably hit that on the way back. Right now we're headed for Livingston.
current on our job makes an income and continue to do what we do and what we love to do. So uh, Lori's job isn't going super well right now uh, because she works a certain time. She gets off at 5 uh, Arizona time, which right now in Texas is uh, seven. 7 o'clock. So yeah. by the time we eat dinner, and it's, it's too late to do anything. Yeah. So it's tough. But uh, there's a you know there's a lot of stuff and we've explained this before, there's a lot of stuff to to this. It's not you know, I'll explain this to the other people and uh, that we meet, the places we've gone and things that we've seen. But I've also you know, we also talk about hey, this went wrong. One of the guys at the R V park, his compressor went out on us air conditioner and uh, it seems like there's something that goes wrong somewhere all the time so you just have to uh, roll with it and you have to be ready for it and you have to know that things go wrong so with us the uh, check engine light came on and it had something to do with well they're not even sure um, if it was a uh, the fuel pump, but they think it wasn't. It can't be really a fuel pump. I think it was something in the exhaust, but probably the turbo, and somehow it got fixed. So it's it's, it's running now, running fine, and I'm pulling 19,000 plus pounds back there. So up and down the hills of Texas, and no matter what you hear, Texas uh, so far with us have been just hills, up and down, up and down, up and I don't even remember that many downs, mainly been up. Yep. So, I think we're probably not far from the moon about now. We need to start coming down here or something. And I think the other thing that, you know, we weren't anticipating, and I don't, nobody was anticipating, um, our gas prices, you know, it's not cheap to to pull at all um, and at five dollars and I think the most we paid so far is 565 a gallon and, yeah. you know probably average about 535 or 539 yeah so at 150 dollars to fill the tank you know it's a little expensive so income is good income is king yeah, it, uh, yeah, gas is ridiculous right now. Um, it's just, got, yeah, over five bucks a gallon. I have 30 gallons. Um, so, that's 150 bucks uh, to fill my tank. And right now, pulling with all the hills and stuff, we're only getting eight miles a gallon, which isn't, I don't, remember getting eight gallon, miles a gallon even going through uh, all the hills in Washington. No, so, uh-uh. We were getting like nine or ten. Yeah, so I mean, I, everything that I've figured out so far has been figured out at um, ten uh, miles per gallon um, with a two mile an hour cushion. I figured we could probably get 12, but um, uh, so far that's not the case, and so uh, everything's uh, kind of messed up, so anyway, it is what it is, um, we're headed, like I said, to Livingston, um, we're getting 8 miles a gallon right now, so 8.2, so what's not bad at all. No, but we're happy to be getting on to Livingston because yep. that's going to be our... It's going to be where we get our domicile, uh, yeah, our res our registration, and yep. license, and yep. all that good stuff, and, uh, and we're going to be doing that in the rain. <laughs> it looks like well, they're calling, like uh, Lori said, they're calling for storms on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So. Yep. Uh, a little bit of rain is nice, but uh, not when you have to go out and get things done. So, um, 
but uh, everybody there is familiar with what we have to do, so we'll just listen to what everybody tells us and get her to... Uh, okay, guys. We'll sign off for now, and uh, just know that we're back on the road. We're excited to be back on the road. Yeah. Um, right now, like I said, we're going to, uh, headed from Kerrville, Texas, and we're headed for Livingston, uh, Texas, Texas uh, which is north of uh, Houston. Yep. So it's about uh, by car at six hours, so it'll take us about seven, seven and a half. Maybe a little longer with that little detour. So that's where we're headed. This is what it looks like. The house is still back there. This is what it looks like in uh, Texas. So y'all know. We took some uh, pictures of the uh, Buckhorn Lake RV Resort where we were. I'll try to show you some of those. All right. What do we say? We say these guys are virgin. I should probably get them. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. And remember, we're never far from home. Never far from home.